there. Thanks for joining me for Bible journaling. Today, we are going to be working in our Moment to Breathe devotional, and we have made it to day 172, the gifts to be discovered. Our verse today is in 1 Corinthians 10, 31. So whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do everything for the glory of God. How are there more dirty clothes? I just washed everything you brought down. Wait, these were clean. Why are they back in the washer when you haven't worn them? Are you putting clean clothes back in the dirty pile because you're too lazy to put them away? I ask my sons the same questions and I'm often met with the same sheepish expressions from them both. I'm beyond thankful I don't have to scrub clothes in a bucket or hang them to dry on a line, but still somehow I find myself entangled in this never-ending battle of never being finished. Some days, I feel like I'm rolling the same boulder up the same um, unending hill, and it can make me feel so tired, so defeated. The daily things are so cynical, cooking, cleaning, laundry, bedtimes. And then again with the cooking, cleaning, laundry, bedtimes. Sometimes we feel, which is true, as though there are always more tasks to complete whether it's laundry at home or a pile of paperwork at the office. Our work is never done, and in that never done place, it can be easy to grow oh so wary. It's easy to lose the joy and desire to do all things to the glory of God. In a recent season of extreme busyness, I felt the Lord remind me in these spaces of never ending chores, there can be joy hidden in the mundane. I was reminded of the simplicity of sameness with engaging the, unex the expected. While repetition sometimes felt defeating, I also found myself relieved by the comfort of familiarity. The Lord reminded me that in all the things we do, there are hidden gifts to be discovered. And in places where we might be tempted to grumble or complain, His glory still shines and invites us into praise and thanksgiving. So today, our moment to breathe says, yeah, laundry can feel like that sometimes. What if you chose to see that pile of work or laundry a little differently? Choose to see it as an invitation to the sweet comfort of familiarity. Well, that's certainly true about laundry and all that mundane stuff. I feel that way. It can be so daunting. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna go ahead and let me find a place to put my devotional so I don't get it dirty. And let's turn to our page here and it's way in the back so let me grab a book I'm gonna need a piece of paper so let me grab that and something to prop up my page here I don't think I'm gonna need two maybe just one okay so anyway today I have picked out this um, sassy Cheryl stamps image that says to clean or not to clean isn't she perfect <laughs> So that is my little girl there for today. And I did reduce her to 85% of her original size. So in case you want to print her out too, you will be able to do that. And then I'm going to use this, this um, title that I printed out. And I used my Hungry JPEG Incredible June Bundle for that. And the two fonts I used are Forest Friends. So that's this little swirly one. And I used size 30. And then I used, for the block letters here, I used Rotrund. And it's in size number 48 and I'll put a link to everything I used down in the description box in case you would like to pick something up and I printed my title out on some clear um, sticker paper so in case you want to pick some of that up too I really love sticker paper so I'm gonna go ahead and set that over here and let's go ahead and put a piece of paper behind my page and actually my verse today is on this page over here I actually already did it right here but because, and I thought about doing it on the opposite page over here, but since I had this chipboard piece, um, our cardstock pieces of stuff stuck on here, I couldn't see the image through the page. So I'm gonna just go ahead and do it on this page and then maybe put an arrow or something that will lead over here pointing to this page or maybe on my journaling, I can put um, the verse over here or something like that. So my thought today is I'm going to use some Gonzai Tambi um, watercolors so that's what we're going to paint with 
And so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna gesso our page first. So I'm gonna use some um, clear gesso to go ahead and do that. Oops. And I don't know how many days I've done Bible journaling, but I had to open a new um, jar of gesso, but it lasted forever. <laughs> so today's a new day for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab some of this on my little applicator here. And I like to do two coats, so I'm just gonna smooth this on and paper get over here. Why is this, why is my paper always being so difficult? And we'll just smooth this down the page. And since I have my tab here on this side, I'm gonna kind of go around that so I don't wipe it right onto my tab because that will make a big mess. I got a big blob right there, so I'm gonna wipe it off. Okay, and then we'll take our blow dryer and we'll dry it real quick. And when I'm drying, I kind of give a little tug on the page just so that it flattens it out a little bit. Not too hard. You don't want to yank on it when it's wet because you'll rip the page, but just gently tug it. Okay, and I like to give it two coats in case I missed a spot. And I'll probably, after I paint my girl, I'll probably do some kind of splatters or something over here on the side because I like it to be colorful, but we'll see how colorful we make her first. I'm into bold colors. Okay, and we'll just put our sponge dauber over here. Put the lid on our gesso. And then we'll give this a quick dry. I really like this little image today. I have one also that I got over at Moe's Digital Pencil of Mum, and she's hanging some laundry on a line that would be perfect for your page too if you wanted to use something like that. Um, she was really cute. There was just a lot more detail. She was hanging a quilt on the on a line outside and the laundry out there. So I decided this one had a little less stuff, took up less room on the page. The most digital pencil one would definitely come way over here if you made it big enough. I like to make my images pretty big. But Cheryl did a wonderful job on her, so we're just going to use her today. Alright, so let's grab a paper towel. And this paper is going to be difficult. I need to get some of those little bitty clips that hold your page down. Okay, we'll move her up a little bit. Let me see here. What paintbrush shall we use today? Let's try using, what's this? Number eight. What did I do with it? Don't I have more paintbrushes? I thought I had, hmm. I'm thinking I'm gonna use a smaller one. Maybe, what's this one? Number four. Let's try number four. Okay, so we're going to do some skin tone, and so I got my Gonsai Tombi um, watercolors here, so I'm going to move those over here by beside me. And let me see my paper towel. So let's see, what can we find to do her skin with first? So they don't have any skin tones, so let me see here. Of course I forgot my plate. So what did I do with that piece of acetate? So I'm just gonna take this little piece of acetate here and we can put some color on that. So let's try, let's turn it right side up first. So let's try number 44. 
So I'm gonna get that wet. I'm just gonna put a little bit here on my on my um, acetate sheet. And then let's try, we need to tone that down a little bit. So let's give it number 43, which is like a yellow. Let's kind of see what that does. Mm, I don't know if I love that either. Let's try putting some number 10, which is just plain white in here. Mm. Okay, now what do we got? Let's do, let's add number 32, which is a red. Let's try a little bit of that. Let's see what we get. Kind of an orangish. I think I'm going to kind of go, I think I'm going to go with that. That's kind of a peachy kind of color. Okay, so let's give her some shadows first. So for shadows, I'm going to use 139, which is a purple. And let's go up here. Oops, let's move my little color swatch a little bit. We'll give it a little bit of shade there. And then I'm just going to go back with some water and soften that. She makes house look, housework look fun. We, well, yeah, it's not that fun, but she makes it look like she's gonna be maybe having some fun. All right, now let's go ahead and try our stuff. So I'm gonna put a little bit of water right here or on my little piece of acetate. I'm going to drop some water and then I'm going to put some of this color in here just so it's diluted and then we'll put that on and see how that goes. Okay, I don't know if I love my purple there. Let me get my, I'm just gonna, because I put the gesso on there, I'm just gonna go ahead and dab some water on here. And then I'm gonna suck up some of that color from my coloring here. I don't like how that looks. Got a little too crazy there. Okay, let's try that.
Okay, I like that. So let's see, what color shall we do? I'm gonna kind of skip around so that we can let things dry. So let's run over here and do um, maybe the top of this broom. Okay, so our broom, let's go ahead and add a little bit of yellow. So let's go ahead and use um, 43 since I had used that before and it's damp. We'll start with that. And I'm going to use this also on her hair. Okay, pretty. Then let's hop up here and we'll use number 33 for her hat. I'm going to use that for her hat and her little apron. And then we'll hop down here and we'll grab our apron. So that's going to be um, this. And then she's got a little um, broom in her pocket or tucked into her apron. And she's got a towel tucked in her apron. like so pants let's see blue i like blue for pants so let's do number 66 try my brush off here and then we'll swirl it get it started you got to kind of get the paint started and so we'll come down here Uh -oh. I didn't let that dry. Look, we got a big blob right here. Let's see if we can do what I'm going to do with that. Let's go like this. Okay, we'll suck that up and then we'll come back here in a second. We'll add some more. I'll fill that orange in here in just a second. color to her skin.
let's go ahead and well, maybe let's do let's do a little bit let's see if we can fill in this little spot right here real quick and then let's go ahead and dry this and then we'll add some more color We got these little pants cuffs up here. Let's go ahead and do that. So let me grab a little bit of my blue. And I'm gonna rinse my brush off. I'm just gonna get it wet a little bit and then spread that out. So it'll be a little bit lighter than the top part. All right, let's go up here and we'll add something to our broom. So our broom's gonna need some brown. Let's see, let's go with 46. And then we'll add some of that. And I think I'm going to actually add some of that up here onto her hair, too. Like that, maybe? And I think I'll use this brown on her shoe. Then let's hop down here and we'll add some orange to my basket because my basket has like a little um, cloth insert. up here and we'll do number 33 for this little broom she's got in her pocket. And I think I'll use this maybe on my sock. and I didn't let that dry, so I got a little bit of orange in there. That's okay. All right, let's dry this. And I'm gonna do some red and number 32 up here on the sleeves of her shirt. And 
let's see here. We're going to need something for our bubbles. Let's do number 61 for our bubbles. And I'm just going to dab it in there so that it leaves some of that white. I think I'll wipe my brush off and maybe pick some of it up. I'm gonna smoosh it around a little bit. So it gives it a little bit of color, but not take over the whole bucket. Then let's see what else we gotta do. Let's do some more brown down here on her shoe. that let's do it on down here on the back whoops <laughs> the basket too I almost colored that whole sock us with this bucket over here okay do we have black we do number 20 okay and let's do some along the edge here okay and then I rinse my brush off and I just have a little bit of water on here and I'm going to soften this out into the rest of the bucket. do something with my broom handle. Let's add some of this brown to my broom. shirt and this we better put a little brown on that too maybe on her little room right here
And then for this towel, let's go ahead and grab a little bit of our 20. And where's my little piece of acetate? So I'm gonna put a little bit of that on here. And then I'm gonna grab some water and just dilute that. And then we'll use that, try my paintbrush off, use that to do a little bit of maybe shadows on our towel. And maybe on our shirt. this broom it's looking kind of sad let's do um, I'm gonna do number 47 which is an even darker brown bit more of our number 33 to our hat. Okay, and then we better give her something to stand on. So maybe we'll use our little bit of our black that we used to do our shadows on our shirt and put those down here. Put those down like this. give her something to stand on there for a minute. Then let's do, let's see what we got in here. Let's try this jelly roll pin. And I'm gonna use that to give her hat 
um, some dots. That. And maybe we'll do some stripes on her little apron. That maybe how about some over here on our little um, basket thing? That. And what are we gonna do with this broom over here? I don't know. Um. Hmm, I think in that it needs to have something else. Let's see. Let's grab some number 20 and maybe take it and go. This. And then I think this basket down here. Let's get this a few little lines with a brown, which was number 46. Right, now we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put some splatter on my page. So let me switch brushes. Let's go with number eight. Let me get that wet. And pick up some number 20. Just black. Let's go up a little bit. And we're just going to splatter that. Hopefully, maybe not. Oops. that let's see let's see what other color we want to do let's do we got some orange let's go ahead and do some orange too black mixing with my orange it didn't look that great okay and let's do a little bit of red too make sure I get all the black or the paint munched off this time Okay, let's try that. This little little orange swirl right here's got black swirling in it.
Okay, then we'll put our title in here. And when you want to put when you put the title on, always make sure that um, I kind of remove one little piece and then stick it where I want it. Because once you stick it down, you are not going to get it up. So just be careful where you're putting it. And then I just kind of peel the paper off as I spread my finger down. And then you rub it down. that and then we're going to put I'm going to put um, so I remember that the page or the verse was over here on the other side I'm gonna go ahead and put my verse underneath this so we'll go first Corinthians And then we'll go 1031 like that and then we're gonna want to put our date down here so let's do that down here at the bottom I didn't leave me any room for journaling did I that's okay and then yeah I always I forget that um, after I went with my Sharpie because it's on the gesso, it doesn't dry all the way and it gets smeared, so always make sure to give it a little quick dry. So there is our day 172 for Bible journaling today. I hope you had um, fun. If you have a question, leave me a comment down below and I'll make sure to get back to you. Don't forget to hit the like button if you like the video, subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber, and then hit the little bell next to that so you'll know when I'm doing a live class so you can come join me or you'll get notified whenever I upload a new video. So anyway guys, I hope you're having a fabulous day and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.